Nightmare Duke and welcome to another Fallout 76 video and today we're going to be taking a look at some daily ops rewards specifically the weapon plans that drop and when you craft them they come as pre-rolled legendaries of course these used to be uh, survival weapons and then of course the plans made their way into daily ops as rewards most people ignore them maybe for good reason maybe they shouldn't be ignoring them and that's what we're going to find out today just going to be doing some quick showcases for each one not going to be going into massive details with the build or anything like that just using them with their respective builds and seeing how they perform and hey what use you can get out of them and if they are some that are really good and you should be looking at so yeah hopefully you enjoy if you do then hey consider liking and subscribing and let's just get straight into things so to kick things off with we'll be starting with the melee weapons out of the bunch of course there's three melee and three ranged weapons when it comes to these plans from daily ops unless i got my calculations and searching horrendously incorrect uh, but yeah we're gonna be starting off with unstoppable monster which is of course the death core gauntlet so bloodied more power attack damage and less damage taken while power attacking so really really nice roll as you can see 429 damage there so really really good damage really really good weapon performs very well uh, and probably my favorite out of the melee bunch and probably my favorite out of the whole bunch uh, in general as well so you're going to be having no problems uh, using the weapon as part of your end game build as part of your low level build it does really really well and we'll just quickly deal with these super mutants here and then we'll swap over to the next one not going to give too much time to all of these but I'll also just try it out of that as well, which of course gets that bonus damage as part of its legendary roll. So then you're getting those nice one taps basically, even on the level 100 there. So nice damage from this weapon, of course, the bloodied, part of the bloodied build, and of course that's screwing us over there. But anyway, unstoppable monster, really, really nice weapon and you should have no problem using that on your build. So let's just move on to the next melee weapon, shall we? So next melee weapon is going to be the gutter. So the gutter is an Assaultron blade. Of course, a one star, but technically two star. It's, of course, it's a vampire's roll. So vampires, usually very good effect, more so on your fast firing weapons or something like a Mr. Handy Buzz blade, uh, anything that's just moving or attacking really fast so not as ideal on a slow sort of uh, melee weapon but hey it should come in handy nonetheless and of course we have superior damage so that's that extra 20 percent damage uh, that you get uh, on the weapon as well so we're sitting at a decent amount of damage there we are still bloodied from our unstoppable monster but we'll just see if the vampires can keep us alive hopefully it does but yeah the gutter not a terrible weapon you can get by with it pretty nicely um Forms, but should be no problem uh, dealing with these enemies and it is keeping us alive in our extremely bloodied state so that's always nice to see as well dealing with enemies no problem so yeah the gutter not a bad weapon especially on something like you got a new character or something like that you can definitely get you by until you get your sort of more god rolled legendaries uh, but by all means uh, you will have sort of no problem using the gutter and it, hey, it kept us alive even in our bloodied state there sort of thing uh, So yeah, let's just move on to our next and last melee weapon for Lastly this. from the melee weapons we have the mechanics best friend Which is probably the weakest out of all of these one strength very nice 40% uh, more attack damage also very nice for melee weapons, but it is a troubleshooters So they're very situational damage increase and it's just a you know a pipe wrench as well so not the greatest there but we'll just see how it performs but this is probably going to be the weakest out of the bunch uh, when it comes to those available uh, weapons in the gutter and of course unstoppable monster so even against the level 60s with its power attack requiring a few hits so not ideal but hey, not absolutely terrible, and you can still get by with it, especially if you're sort of needing it for like a low-level character. Uh, should be just fine. But dealing with these, it's not too much of an issue. Of course, we're bloodied there, so I've just gotta watch that. And there's a whole bunch. I'll just pop another stunt. 
And that's us. Why not? And now let's go for the crit. Get those legendary perks to help us out. And of course, with the legendary perk cards, helping us out with the melee quite a bit. So yeah, the mechanics best friend, not the best one out of the bunch. I'd probably say the weakest one out of the bunch. Of course, Unstoppable Monster being the really nice one. But yeah, that's it for the mechanics best friend. And on to the ranged weapons we go. And to kick things off with, when it comes to the ranged weapons, there's also three. And we'll just start off with the Soul Survivor, which is, of course, a lever action rifle. 50% uh, damage to humans. So again, situational like the mechanics best friend. 25% uh, damage while aiming and damage resistance while aiming. So it's more suited to sort of free aim. But I'll test it out in both. But again, the bonus is it is a lever action. So it is one of the better uh, rifles to sort of use. And one of the main ones that people choose for their builds. So two tap in basically um, when you're free aiming. And in VATS also pretty much getting the two shot off. So, you know, pretty similar performance there kind of thing. And of course VATS, you can also get your crit shots off. So let's just deal with some of these with a crit shot. So almost one tap with that crit shot on the level 75. So yeah, not a terrible weapon. And you're still going to have really good performance out of it just because, hey, it is that lever action rifle. Uh, but yeah, again, it just could be better with that first star. Um, but by no means is it a terrible choice. And the level 100 just ignores the damage because of course it does. And still, there we go. Nice. So yeah, you won't have much issue with the lever action, even though it isn't an ideal roll, but it's still pretty decent overall. So let's just hop over to the next one. And next up, we have the whistle in the dark, which is of course a assault rifle. Now assault rifles, not terrible weapons by any means, um, but they just kind of get overshadowed by the handmade because it uses the exact same ammo. Think if they had left the handmade at 7.62 rounds instead of the 5.56, uh, assault rifle would have a much bigger role in this game kind of thing. But we have nocturnal vats and perception. Vats and perception, very nice. Nocturnal used to be very, very bad because, well, it screwed you over during the day. Uh, but now it just gives you that bonus at night and leaves you alone during the day. So not the worst perk out there, but not the best. But uh, you can still do just fine with this gun on your commando kind of build. And, you know, clean up like you usually do with the commando weapons. So it is a good weapon overall um, to sort of use for your build. Again, not the best roll, but not the worst roll. And I don't think we're even benefiting at the moment uh, from that nocturnal effect because it is the daytime. Uh, so nighttime is going to be performing even better than this sort of thing. But compared to something like the handmade, you're just going to be less efficient with the ammo. But you'll get the job done no problem at all with this weapon so let's just go on to the last weapon from the daily ops rewards and then last but not least we have the medical malpractice which is of course your uh what are you for revolver so that's very nice that's very nice and we primed it to give it some more damage because well it is a med well it's a medics so that's crits heal you and your group so not an ideal first star yet again kind of thing and we'll see if we can stay sort of hidden to make sort of use of the bonus sneak damage. Uh, but, you know, hey, two tap if you can keep your sneak going. So that's pretty good, actually. Uh, but yeah, most of the time not going to be able to sneak. So generally quite a few rounds to sort of kill the enemy. But still not terrible. Um, yeah, three or four rounds when you're not sneaking against the level 100 enemies. So again, not absolutely horrendous but again it could just be way better of a roll but you can get that two top two tap off if you are sort of sneaking and can maintain that sneaking and when you're not sneaking against the 100s you can sort of get that four shot if you include the crit there as well legendary over here just let it heal no doggo and dealt with so medical malpractice not terrible but again a little bit to be desired in that first sort of star but hey if you can keep that sneak going then you can get the two shot and hey it's very effective then sort of thing uh, so yeah not bad overall uh, but yeah that'll be all of the sort of current 
survival weapons that you can get from daily ops as rewards uh, so yeah let's just wrap things up and there you have it folks just a sort of quick roundup for the survival weapons that you get from daily ops as rewards as you can see most of them pretty decent and completely usable in the end game uh, of course some of them uh, perfect for end game such as unstoppable monster others you know not so great like the mechanics best friend but especially on your sort of low level characters or when you're still trying to find a good god or legendary um, then you know hey they're completely possible even stuff like whistle in the dark is really a pretty decent uh, sort of a commando weapon but of course with legendary crafting most people have the roles that they want so that's why you generally never see these but hey they're really not that bad when you start to actually use them even something like medical malpractice you can get the two tap off on the level 100s when uh, you know you can sort of maintain your sneak but probably the pick from all of these would be that unstoppable monster but there you have it if they add any of the other survival weapons because there are quite a few more i'll sort of do in sort of part two but for now hopefully you enjoyed if you did then hey consider liking and subscribing thanks so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one